Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating the material that goes on the exterior of the ship. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the start of June. So let's start by selecting the material. This is what we got. So shading, I've got something very simple plugged in. Um, doesn't really suit my need. I think it can be a lot better. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in, drag in a grunge map. So if we just go base color, that's what it looks like. Pretty yucky. So first things first, I'm going to do shift a, let's add in a texture coordinates. And then from there we will add in mapping. Now I'm just going to go off the object into the vector. And what I'm going to do is because I haven't unwrapped this model, I'm going to change flat to box. So now it kind of projects all around. Um, still fairly yuck, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to put this as the color, but I'm going to set this as the roughness. I quite like that color I originally had. So I'm going to do shift a, let's put in a color ramp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down to roughness. So let's get rid of the base color. And so, as you can see, we've kind of got this rough shader. Um, let's bring that all back a little bit because I don't need so much of it. So let's go, keep going, keep going. Whoops, bring it back down here. And so we're just kind of having a play. And so now we've kind of got this speckle. I think we might change the color around. There we go. And now we've kind of got all these little marks all over the ship. Now I'm going to turn down that metallic color down a little bit, just so it's not as glossy. Whoops, turn it down a little bit too much. And there we go. We've got some speckly stuff on there. From here, I'm going to select all this and let's go shift D to duplicate and plop that up there. From here, I'm going to get rid of this one and let's put in a different material. So if I just go into base color and let's plop this one over here, this is what we got. It's more elongated, this one. Um, let's go change flat to box. Let's give it a little bit of a blend. Um, plug this back in, plug the vector black in. Let's get rid of that. All right, so we can see that it's repeating on maybe the Z. So scale, let's not go that way. Let's go X, nope, let's go Y. There we go. I hold shift just to move it a little bit less harshly and position. I kind of want that, or oh, actually quite kind of like it on the tip there. So let's leave it like that. Let's bring in the color ramp. I want it a little bit more subtle. And there we go. It's a little bit better. Let's go to the base color. Let's bring that up a bit. I don't need a poo brown. Let's go add shader so we can add these two together. And there we go. So we've got the speckles from here, from this noise texture. We've got, uh, not the noise texture, this uh, scratches. And then we've got this one up here, which has got more, you know, groovish, if you know what I mean. So that's quite nice. However, let's add in a little bit more. So in the last video, if you want to know how to make um, alpha decals, go back and watch that. There'll be a link somewhere. So now let's go file, import, images plane. And let's move that into a position. G, X, rotate Z, 90. Oh. Okay, change that to medium point. G, Y, G, X, rotate X, Y, 90. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. I'm just gonna go side view. And I kind of wanna sit about there, I would say. What I'm going to do now is go into our modifiers, add modifier. Let's go shrink wrap onto this one. However, that looks horrendous. That's not what we're going to do. Nearest, we're going to project it 
on the negative x. There we go. Just play around with a few of the settings. And I want it just to get sitting on top. All right. And now if we look at our import settings, we can see that everything should be working, but it's not. That's fine. I can just go to material. Let's change the blend mode from opaque to alpha clip. And now we have Monta on our ship. That's pretty cool. So once again, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Really helps me out and keeps you up to date with my content.